Welcome to our weekly brief on recent medical news and findings. I'm Dr. Arafa Kassaboy, a practicing internist and a medical editor for Medscape and WebMD. Our first report confirms earlier findings that low-dose aspirin doesn't prevent cardiovascular events in patients with type 2 diabetes. The new data comes from long-term research in Japan. The JPAD study involved more than 2,500 patients with type 2 diabetes randomized to low-dose aspirin or no aspirin. The initial findings at about four years showed no effect of aspirin on sudden death, heart disease, stroke, or peripheral artery disease. The researchers then followed the cohort to 10 years, during which aspirin therapy was decided by the treating doctor. And the findings were essentially the same. Aspirin didn't prevent cardiovascular events. The researchers think the negative aspirin results in this study versus past research may be due to increased use of statins now. In Europe, the guidelines already don't recommend aspirin for primary prevention of cardiovascular events in patients with type 2 diabetes, except in high-risk cases. It may be time for the American guidelines to be revisited and changed. Next, Danish researchers have found an association between the use of proton pump inhibitors and risk of first-time ischemic stroke. Preclinical studies have suggested a biologic basis for this. PPIs reduce the production of nitric oxide, resulting in endothelial dysfunction. And observational studies already show a link with PPIs and heart disease. But this was the first study to link PPIs with stroke, and the risk is dose-dependent. Interestingly, there wasn't an increased risk of stroke with the H2 blocker class of meds. The study included almost a quarter of a million patients and looked at four of the most popular PPIs, some of which are available over the counter. Although the stroke incidence rate was higher in people who took PPIs, this observational study doesn't prove causation. Patients who have a clear indication for PPI therapy should continue their medication. And finally, the psychoactive drug psilocybin is being hailed as a game changer for late stage cancer patients with depression and anxiety. You may have heard of it as the active ingredient in the recreational drugs known as magic mushrooms. Psilocybin produces a mystical altered state of consciousness that contributes to a positive mood, a greater life satisfaction, and improved spiritual well-being. It's a serotonergic hallucinogen, non-addictive, and has low toxicity. Two separate studies showed that a single high dose had a rapid, clinically significant, and long-lasting effect in 80 to 90% of patients. The fact that both studies yielded similar results has experts saying that the findings could open up a new era of drug treatment in psychiatry. While more studies are needed, this research brings hope that the hallucinogen may have applications for treating patients other than those suffering from cancer. You'll find links to each of the stories we've included in today's news brief in the transcript listed below. For Medscape and WebMD, I'm Dr. Arafa Kassaboy.